Hey YouTube, wanted to uh, bring you another little tip trick for uh, Borderlands 2. So, found a couple uh, secret chests. Again, these are pretty easy to get to. Um, sometimes can be a little bit of a challenge, as you'll see here. So, that was coming out of the Vault of the Warrior, out into um, Iridium Blight, and happened to run into a... I can't remember what they're called, King Mong or whatever they're called. And um, so here I am, just kind of fighting what's in my way, running over to where this chest is going to be. I'll show you here in a minute. So, um, really having a lot of fun with Borderlands lately. This game's just a blast. So, um, man, these guys get all over you if you, if you let them. So, anyway, I'm trying to make my way to the other side of this gate here. And if you noticed earlier, I um, shot my sniper at a uh, small electrical box on the other side of the wall and it didn't register because I was too far away so I had to run back in here and here you go there's that small electrical box so shoot that the light turns from green to red when you shoot it run back through the wall head down the road just a little bit and into the cave jump down in the cave there's a whole bunch of polymongs down here including um, after you kill all these uh, first polymongs there are two I believe super badass rock wall bully monks that spawn, and uh, they actually did kill me, the two of them. If I had another half second, I would have killed them, but uh, they spawn after everything else is dead, and I ran out of shotgun, and so on and so forth. So anyway, had to run back down there again. But uh, anyway, when you go down that road and jump in the cave there, um, if you go back in the corner of the cave, once you've killed the, uh, all the rock walls or the bully monks, I'll show you here. You run back in the corner of the cave. There we go. Took care of those guys. And there is a small old beat up car. You open the car and another secret little chest. Um, nothing good in the chest for me this time, but you can always loot that anytime you go through uh, Iridium Bliss or Iridium Blight. So, um, so anyway, that's the first one. And then uh, the second one that's pretty easy to get to. And obviously it's easier to grab a, if you grab a vehicle and go get it, but figured I'd just show you how to run down there too, but anyway, come out of there, take a right and head, um, just keep heading farther and farther down here, you're going to have to watch me fight some more bully mongs here, um, just keep heading on down in that same direction, this way, there you go, there's a little auto turret, a uh, little fire plant, and then here I just get attacked by these birds, so had to kill those, uh, just keep heading down this direction, and there'll be a bunch of more bully monks down below. I chose to go right around the rock there and kind of sneak up on the on the right of them, which didn't work. But anyway, so come through here, kill these bully monks, and there we go. They are gone. So then you keep on running down here through the valley, and voila, you're up here on a little platform. If you look down on the platform, there's some mechs. You kill them, they will respawn. I think eight of them or ten of them maybe in all but they come two at a time so you can kill them from up here um, once you kill them all run down here and go out on the platform by the slag lake there's your electrical box shoot that as soon as you shoot it you're gonna get a whole bunch more mechs that come down kill the mechs kill the uh kill the flying shield guys whatever they're called and run in this room here you go. There's another chest. Gun chest or whatever decides to spawn. Again, more junk for me. Greens are worthless. Um, pick up the ammo. And that's really it in this. So um, climb back up the ladder and go back to wherever you're going to go. So hope you enjoyed these two little uh, secret chests. And hopefully you get some good loot out of them.